okay so you've downloaded your application and you've installed and you've created your first document and um, of course we've talked about the tools that you have here and i believe you understand most of them right so now let's talk about this interface that we are seeing generally right so i'm going to do my best to break down each of these things and um, i may not go extensive on them but i'm going to make sure you understand what you need to understand so starting from the top here right so like i said affinity has um different studios built into it right so when you click on this arrow here you can see that you have a whole lot more now this vector you can see it as adobe illustrator because this is the vector part of affinity right like um adobe illustrator now if you switch over to the pixel part this is more like the photoshop aspect of this software right now if you click on this layout this feels more like the InDesign part of this software right so basically you can switch in between all of this and it doesn't stop there you have all others if you're interested in retouching color grading typography compositing all of this right and you can easily just pick anyone and work with all right so um let's start with what we can actually see here now over here on top here now the vector studio is great for when you want to do when you want to edit curves and um, nodes and combine complex shapes you can actually use the vectors here now when you switch to the pixels the pixel studio allows you to edit raw images for example if you bring in a raw image inside of affinity studio it's going to immediately switch to pixel so that's the reason why it would switch to pixel and um, most times it adds non-destructive adjustment and filters of course if you are a digital artist you're going to be working with the pixel studio more right and of course the layout studio um if you want to work with typography and create beautiful layouts like i said it's more like you're working if you're coming from adobe suits it's more like the indesign right so this is where you do all of that working with your typography tools and um, of course it helps you create beautiful layouts so i'll just switch back to this and um um let me quickly talk about the panels here so you first one you have here is your layers right so your layers panel is can be one of the most important and the most powerful thing that you can actually see like each layer can contain i don't have any layers here right each layers can actually con let me try and open something okay so basically these are your layers like i said layers are very very powerful each layer can uh be a mask like and see um how i masked out with effects and everything it can be a mask it can be a parent or a child right so you can easily drop um one layer into another to create a clipping mask um like i have done in the tutorial for this particular design right so you can add blend modes to any of these layers and edit them and of course you can um, change you can edit them inside here where you have the opacity and of course you can also have the blend mode for all of these things right you can change the blend mode here based on what you are seeing here and you can make it suit what you want of course you have the character this um you can use to manipulate your text and um every other thing that has to do with text right and um of course you have your pad brushes your color your stroke all these are panels and they can be moved around when i mean moved around and docked back again for example if i switch to this studio that i created this is the one i created for myself you can easily do that by yourself by clicking on this and click on create studio you can give it the name of your choice and customize it the way you want this and click on create and voila that's how you get it done right you can see how i customize this notice how i switch from vector to 
the studio over here and you can see that it has changed but the one thing that wouldn't change is the file edit document everything here stays the same everything nothing changes here and um of course over here you have your vector view mode of course you can see i'm in my vector view mode now right because i am working on vectors right so immediately i switch to pixel you can see what happens everything inside my workflow switches to that pixel you can see that i'm zooming close to it and i'm seeing pixelated line um, dots inside here but when i switch back to vector you can see that it has reverted back to vector you can see everything has been vectorized back right so you can easily switch from vectors to pixel mode right so um over here is where you have your boolean um operators and of course you have all of this you have your insert behind you have your insert to top of layers all this will be covering in subsequent tutorials and of course you have the snap option i just like turning this on right and of course um affinity studio has a ruler so you can click on control arrow to um activate the ruler is always hidden most times and um, you can drag a ruler down like this and um, horizontally and vertically right so to dock them back you can drag them up just the same way you have it inside of photoshop then to hide this back ctrl arrow takes this back yeah so basically it, this is how the layout and of course if you're done with your work and you want to export you have this command here you can easily click on this to preview what you want to export and um, of course you can change this um, if you want to save as png you can change this maybe you don't want png you can use any of this here this is jpeg and you have several vi formats and you can also export to canva design isn't that amazing so you can choose any file format here let's say we want png and um, uh, of course when you click on export this is the preview of what you want to export click on exports it will take you to where you have where you want to save and change the name here click on save and everybody goes home happy and of course the last one i would run to not really the last one is the live filters now this is another powerful addition to this amazing software right so um i keep saying software amazing application right so uh if you click on this where you have filters all these are live filters and of course in our in the videos i'll be dropping from um after this time around i'm going to be using uh, most of these things in my tutorials so it's better you stay put so that you don't miss um this exciting adventure that we've started together right so you have your gaussian blur diffuse it's so much that i have to scroll to get all of this all this will come handy right so you can navigate through your vector your pixels and your layouts and um everything else here stays the same right if you've not seen the video of uh if you if you don't know how if you don't understand the tools inside this vector mode i have explained it in my last video so you can check that out i'll be covering the tools you have under the pixels in another video so make sure you don't miss that video also um yep i'll see you in the next video just up above